Hey guys, my name is Adam, and today I have another Rome Total War multiplayer battle replay, and this is a Rome vs. Rome game, a straight up 1 vs. 1. I don't have any teammates on my sides, he doesn't have any teammates on his sides. It's going to be a nice brawl between the two different Roman factions here. So I'm playing as the Scipii Romans, or the Blue Romans, and my opponent is playing as the Red Romans, or the Julii Romans. Definitely an interesting fight. I always like Rome vs. Rome fights, because it tends to be on even ground. This was a 10k CWB match, meaning on these lower fun games, you generally have to devote the majority of your money to something in order to have an advantage. So, you can devote that to your bow component, your infantry component, or even your cavalry component. It really doesn't matter, but you need to devote your money to something in order to get a huge advantage. So, I decided to opt for the infantry component to be my target of choice, and I have four sets of urban cohorts with silver-silver upgrades on them. This is a lot of money. This is probably three, uh, three quarters of my money spent into these urban cohorts. And then I have three sets of archer auxilia, which is purely going to be used for minor harassment. Archers tend to be very good at low money games, but I wanted to do more of a rush component here. I wanted to be able to quickly attack with my urbans. Then I have four sets of Praetorian Cavalry. One of them has bronze bronze, but the others are completely plain. Then my opponent went for the Cavalry component to be his focus. He has five sets of Praetorian Cavalry, and as you can tell, that is a lot of money that he spent on these guys. It's a ridiculous amount. And I believe all of them have bronze bronze upgrades, so that's actually pretty good. It's definitely a better Cav component than I have. He has an extra one than me, and he has all of them upgraded better. So that's something to keep in mind. Then he has three sets of... Early Legionary Cohorts, which is definitely a good infantry unit. Um, I don't know. I prefer Urbans, but this can definitely work. As you can tell, he has, I believe, gold-silver upgrades on them, which is definitely decent. And he's going to stand right out front here. I don't think he's going to throw his pill up, but uh, lucky for him, because I had my Archer Auxilia out front. So he would have just hit them. But anyway, I'm going to charge into melee with my Archer Auxilia. This is purely an attempt to get him to throw his pilla, which doesn't necessarily work out. But now I can move my Urban Cohorts forward and handle these guys quite efficiently. You'll notice that I have one in reserve. And the huge blunder that my opponent made in this whole game was that he kept his Praetorian Cavalry way too far out. You cannot support from that distance. And it took him ages to get back here. He needs to run all the way from that side of the map back to the battle. So he went way too far out. In the meantime, though, I'm trying to distract most of his cab, and I do manage to do that. Over here, I'm going to get a very nice rear charge, and that's going to cause an instant route because of the small unit size that's very deadly. And then way back over here, you'll notice that I charge my urban cohorts in to support this fight. He's going to charge out seeing the danger, and he has wrapped up this cab unit that he was fighting right there. This cab unit is routed, but now I'm going to start engaging the majority of his cavalry with, with my urbans, with my other cavalry. So he's in a tough situation right now. He has very little infantry to support. There you can see that I routed another early legionary cohort. And the last legionary cohort he has left is his general unit. He's going to use them to throw the pillow, which is definitely a very nice idea. But now I'm into melee range, so he's going to be in a bit of trouble. I still have the majority of my cavalry as well, so I'm going to start using that in cav fights because I feel that I can win. I've injured their cavalry a lot with my urbans, and now I have a pretty good grasp on the game. As you can tell, I'm also charging my urbans still. I killed their general. I mean, things are going really well for me. He gets a nice rear charge, but the problem is I have urbans there to take the blow. If it was just my Praetorian cavalry, then that could have been a different story, but because I have the urbans there who have rock-hard morale, it's tough to stop them. And there goes one unit of cavalry. He's going to try and retreat out, but all that he has left right now is these archers and a couple cavalry units. So I'm going to charge my cavalry into the archers, cause a lot of damage there. And I believe this um, middle unit is going to route very soon. He's trying to clean up my cavalry the best he can. He wants to isolate them as best as he possibly can, but I have urbans to support pretty much every situation. He's going to kill off these two units, um, and I guess that was just a poor micro decision by me, but oh well. I don't think he actually manages to route them. They actually stay and fight till the death, which I found quite amusing. So I'm charging in everyone now, and the only units he has left is these couple of units of cavalry and that one archer auxilia back there, and I believe I'm trying to split off this unit of Praetorian cavalry to finish him off, but it's just taking quite a while. I decide to charge my archer auxilia into the fight over here as well, because why not? They, they, you know, typically they're shooting bows and just in the very back of the field, so I figured I would charge them straight into the combat, and I guess that it's kind of suicide, but it doesn't really matter at the end of the day, because my cavalry is here to support, and they love chewing up archers. They love doing that a lot, so 
worked out pretty well. There goes the army. He has admitted defeat. So, definitely a fun game. A very good game to my opponent, a log 4 mil general 1. Okay. Well, that's an interesting name, but good game. That was definitely fun. It's not very often that I get to do Rome versus Rome, but I really enjoy it when, I, when it does happen. I believe it was small unit size, so the action wasn't quite as intense, but it, it with small unit size, you need to be very careful with your tactical decisions because one rear charge can mark the end of the game for you. It's very dangerous. It's very dangerous. If we look at the battle statistics screen, let's see who inflicted the most casualties today. Looks like it was my Praetorian Cavalry unit. I have to imagine that was the one that either charged the archers because they got a ton of kills, or it could have been the one that did the outflanking charge um, that started the mash route. So it really depends on which one that was. But hope you guys enjoyed the game. Let me know what you thought of it down in the comments section below, and I will see you in future videos.